Good morning, everyone. We are from Ritsumeka and Uji and Sanshin High School. Since the Industrial Revolution, many things have advanced, but education is still the same as it was back in those days. Despite the world changing and making progress in the great speed nowadays, its education system hasn't changed for decades. In our opinion, as the time changes, education should change too. Before we start our presentation, we would like to ask you two questions. First, are you satisfied with your current education? Second, what is your ideal education system? Here are our table of contents below. First, we will tell you about the SDGs. Second, we'll share with you about our issue. Third is our questionnaire and analysis. Four is our suggestion. Five is our conclusion. And lastly, we have our citation. Today, we focus on the target four and seven of the Sustainable Development Goals, which states the peace and human rights education. Our target of this plan are teenagers and adults in both Japan and Taiwan. In, in the past, though how we... Oh. In the past, although how we spend our time has changed, we can't deny the importance of efficiency. As time flies, how could we spend our time? In fact, the culture is changing rapidly, especially compared to the past. Developing technology of the Internet enable us to live comfortably. However, the current education does not include things that are essential to survive in this modern society. Let's look at this table. This is an example of a time schedule in Japanese school. The classes that are marked by red are basic academic skills such as comprehensive special activity and art classes. Only 13% of all classes are about education that is needed in modern society. This time schedule is from a Taiwanese junior high. Although they, are, they have more classes like essential education, such as comprehensive activities and national defense education for more than the Japanese one. The rate of those classes in Taiwan is 40%, which is considered low. Therefore, in the past, having a higher level of basic academic skills was important. However, the knowledge needed to make a better quality of life for each person is more important now. To explore what is like for this society. We did questionnaire for 51 people. 66% uh, of them are teens. As a result of asking where to hold the event, people will come to common parts such as school and community centers. But 43% of people prefer to join the event online. The second question was about the most important knowledge they should have learning during student time. The popular answer was spending habit, presentation skills, and programming skills. Furthermore, we have asked for knowledge that people think is the most important for their life. Spending habit and challenging mind were the most common answers again. Therefore, we realize that education is required to have a extra subject to adapt to current and future periods. What can we do? Changing the education system? Well, it's too difficult for us to achieve. We think the best way is to hold events which cover the education, which is essential nowadays. The system is like this. Teenagers teach others modern skills. On the other hand, others tell the teenagers things they don't know at school, but essential for the future. This system can create benefits and high quality of life to both of them. There are mainly two benefits for students and children, able to gain knowledge and presentation ability. For the first one, having various knowledge will give students multiple perspectives and lead them to better decisions. When we make a presentation summarize information, we will be aware of what words to use to make it better. Then, what about the benefits for adults and elderly? They can keep learning new things about the current situations of the world, and this can support others to work together. Also, they can give hope and tell the strictness of society to teenagers, and adults can look back on their lives. We still have four things to consider. Advertisement, gaps of knowledge, 
details of content and safety. Solutions that we are thinking of are in the PowerPoint. In conclusion, we believe that as time changes, education should change too. We know that people are seeking new things like spending habits. Hence, we came up with the idea of holding events which focus on providing knowledge which is essential for the future or the high qualities of life. Here is the citation. Thank you for listening. So we will move into the question and answer. So the first question is, what can we do to spread that education in your school? So we are not thinking about doing um, that as an educational system, but the <laughs> um, but the <laughs> extra um, classes um, outside of school or like um, only one time event or so in the school. So that that is our answer and. What type of learning ways do you like? <laughs> so um, for this question, we think that um, it is important to do um, active learning, not just um, sitting in classroom and listening to lectures, but also students should be more active to um, what they are learning about. Yes, thank you for the question. And the next one is, what do you think is the most important thing in education? Well, we think that um, education is for students, right? And it is, education is the most important part of students in their lives. And um, it is important to um, let students know what they need to know in this um, society because um, I think we mentioned before but um, the education system in Japan is very old and um, is, it hasn't adapted to this modern society and so my opinion is that the most important thing is to let students know the um, um, current things happening in this world. I would like to answer the question from from uh, from B twelve. Um, the question is about uh, asking about specific subject to. Um, for effective for future education, I think um, personally, um, it, the to teach spending habit habit is more um, most effective uh, <laughs> most effective subject. Yeah. 